What is it about this car? What is it about the Mad Max Interceptor that really does it for me? I mean, if it's the fact that it's a black car, there's other famous black movie cars like the Trans Am from Smokey and the Bandit. And uh, I don't know how many people remember the Camaro from the movie Better Off Dead, John Cusack. Uh, if it's the fact that it's a muscle car, I mean, there's other famous muscle cars from movies. There's the Mustang and the Charger from Bullet. There's another Mustang from Gone in 60 Seconds. And also Vanishing Point had a Challenger. Uh, and then there's the ultimate street rod, Milner's 32 Deuce Coupe from American Graffiti. But what is it about the Interceptor? And for those purists out there, the Pursuit Special, what is it about this car? Well, for me, I always knew what it was. It's that fuel injector. It's not just the fact that the car has a blower on it. It's got that fuel injector, that scoop on that fuel injector. And that's what really did it for me. And I think that makes this one of the meanest cars there is. And this one is mine. This is a reproduction unit that just arrived a month ago. This is the Scott Super Slot, designed, engineered, and manufactured by Mel Scott in the 1960s. It was made only for drag racing. You bought it as a complete kit with the fuel injector, the scoop, and the fuel pump. This is a reproduction, and here's the only thing I found uh, as far as shortcomings go on this reproduction, is the butterflies don't completely clear the scoop, so I'm going to clearance that myself. But how did the idea for that mean-ass scoop come about? Well, I was fortunate enough to ask Mel Scott himself, and he replied to me in an email. He even drew this picture of a two-barrel injector that was common at the time, and he said a friend of his, Thomas Miller, uh, came up with the idea of flattening out the scoop on that injector, and that became the design that we all know and love now. I happen to find these images of a fuel injector just like he was talking about on eBay and I downloaded them for reference. So it is this scoop here, flattened out, that became the design that we all know and love and looks so mean on that car. And Melf, uh, in his email to me, said, ironically enough, uh, nobody had ever asked him that question before. So now we happen to know that for the history books.